جمال الوجود بذكر الإله وتصفو الحياة بنور هدى. Then the hadith says, time will crumple. You know what time crumpling means? Long time ago when I was young, the day used to start very early. And by midday already we would have achieved everything and our day was almost over in terms of achievement. Today, your week passes and you have not achieved what you were able to achieve 10 years ago in, in, a, in a day. Allahu Akbar. Why? Because there is no more barakah in time, no more blessing in time. Time crumpling also means that a year goes past like a month. A month goes past like a week. A week goes past like a day, and a day goes past like an hour. An hour goes by like a minute, and a minute like a second. Allahu Akbar. That is called the crumpling of time. Imagine, the Prophet ﷺ prophesied it. Wallahi, we are living it. Every Ramadan passes faster than the previous one. Do you know that? You see in the moon, before you know, you see in the moon Eid. Allahu Akbar. That is a sign of the end. Then the Prophet ﷺ speaks of something else. يُوشِكُ أَن تَدْخُلَ مَسْجِدَ جَمَاعَةٍ فَلَا تَرَى فِيهِ رَجُلًا خَاشِعًا Soon a time will come when you will enter a masjid. Jama'ah. People will be reading salah with jama'ah. Not one person will be concentrating in salah. Not one. So the concentration in prayer and in salah will be taken away. Why? Because people will have too many unnecessary things in their minds. Today we are filled with movies. We are filled with computer games. We are filled with this and that. Unnecessary things. Discussions of gossip. Gossip meaning absolute nothings. You know, sister will talk for one hour on telecom. And now you have Viber. And now you have No No. And you have the VoIP. And all other things. Tango. So what happens? We tangoing. Doing what? Talking about her. And that one. This one. Hey, listen. I need to read my salah. These are good people. They're talking about their salah. But look. The phone goes down. The salah is darted like a chicken and we back on it. Hey, where did we leave off? Yeah, yes, yes, we were talking. Oh yeah, I remember now what, what you were saying. Allahu Akbar. This is a person who remembered to read their salah. In salah, they're thinking of the juicy stories and they're even doing this. Allah protect us. May He grant us goodness. Another sign of the hour is that the Bedouin Arabs will be competing with one another in the, in the height of the buildings they built. I will stop there. It says a lot. You find it in Dubai, you find it in Mecca and Medina, you find it all over the show. It's a sign of Tiyama, it's a sign of the hour. One man built it 1.3 kilometers, the other one says, I'm waiting for him to finish, so I know how to all to build mine. This is a true story. Wallahi. So now they want to put up one somewhere else. And you know what? You can go right up to wherever you want to go. Believe me, it's not going to help you in any way if you do not have piety and taqwa. It's the taqwa that will actually help. May Allah grant that to us.